Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Sabrina. Hi, Amilcar. Good evening, Hi, teacher. Abel. Good, Good evening. evening, teacher. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Christian. Hello, hello, Maria Luz. Hi, Judy. Alexandra, hi, Jaime. Hello, Jarek Sam. Hello, Estefania. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Fatima. Hello, Miss. Hello. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Carla. How are you guys? Good. I'm just reviewing your messages right now, so I'm sorry if we couldn't understand, uh, you couldn't answer it before. Just allow me one moment, okay? Okay, guys, uh, I'm just trying to get the ones that will be today as listeners. All right, let me get a moment. We have Maggie, we have Jaime, we have Carla, Christian, Ileana. One moment. Maria Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Uh, we will start with the class right now, now that I know about the listeners in the class. Let me get a second and I will share the screen so we can start classes. Okay, I believe that right now we will start with the attendance next time. Please be ready to say present. And just if you can, and if possible for you, I will ask you to turn on the camera at the moment that I'm just going through the attendance list, guys. If you're a listener, say present orally, please. So let me go through that right now, guys. Angela Estefania Marroquí Martínez. Present teacher. All right. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. 
Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Me. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Present, Miss. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ok. All right, thank you very much, guys. Uh, let me get a moment and I will share the screen. Let's see. Okay. All right, so guys, uh, the topic that we have for today is how to use phrasal verbs. This is the class 14, all right? There are missing six more classes, guys. And uh, we will start, I mean, we will continue with the common English idioms. We have previous class, we talk about idioms, right? So we have a review today about idioms. I got some idioms right now, six idioms. Those uh, idioms are in order for you to get more vocabulary about them. Okay, I got the first one, which is, can God your tongue? Can God your tongue is like a question. And the meaning is, can you speak? Can you speak like, like if you are telling that another person that you cannot speak, right? So it's like, um, let's see, como que le amarraron la lengua o algo parecido, o no puede hablar, algo así, o bueno, en, nos, en español nosotros decimos como que le, le comieron la lengua a los ratones, pero no es en inglés así, pero sí se parece mucho, es como que no puedes hablar, ¿verdad? Es como que, que uh, I mean, I'm sorry, caga your tongue, como que el garro le agarró la lengua, el garro le, sí, el garro le agarró, la, el gato, sorry, le agarró la lengua. So that's why it's caga your tongue, okay. Um, so that's an idiom. Could you please repeat after me, caga your tongue? Caga your tongue. Caga your tongue. Very good. Cut, cut your tongue. Mm -hmm. Then I have another one that is a snack as a as a book in a rock. A snack, sorry, a snack as a book in in a rock means warm and cozy. Okay, it's a, like a description of something. It's whenever something is really warm and cozy, como muy cálido. Okay. So let's repeat after me. It's not as a book in a rock. Could you please repeat? It's not as a book in a rock. 
Snow as a bug in the road. Very good. That means that it's warm and cozy. Um, an example of this is, let's see, my, my bed is as snug as a bug in a rock. My bed is as snug as a bug in a rock. Okay. Then I have go to the extra mile. Make an extra effort. That's what is the meaning of it. Make an extra effort. So let's repeat after me. Go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Okay, so one uh, uh, example about go the extra mile is, let's see, I always go the extra mile in my job. Okay, I always go the extra mile in my job. That's an example of going to the extra mile. Okay, then I have another one which is butterfly in my stomach. That's similar to the Spanish one is whenever you are feeling nervous. Okay, I feel butterfly in my stomach whenever I am in love, for example, or I can say I feel butterfly in my stomach. Uh, when I talk in, when I speak in public, for example. So butterfly in my stomach. Then I have to go down in flames, okay? To fail spectacularly, to fail spectacularly. Fail, what is the meaning of fail, guys? Could you please tell me what is the meaning of fail? Caer, caída. Uh -huh, exactly. So to go down in flames is to fail spectacularly, okay? To go down in flames. Uh, let's see. Let me give you an example about it. Mm, just one moment, please. Just allow me one second. Allow me just a moment. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we are in the number five, right? To go down in flames. <clears throat> to fail, right? To fail. For example, my grades, my grades uh, went down in flames. My grades went down in flames. Guys, si ustedes se fijan en este ejemplo, yo lo acabo de conjugar. Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer con los, con los idioms. Eh, dependiendo de qué tiempo, en qué tiempo usted lo quiera hacer, lo puede conjugar. Por ejemplo, en esa que dije, to go down in flames, yo lo dije en pasado. Obviamente, yo voy a pasar el go para el pasado. Entonces, yo dije, my grades went down in flames. I mean, in flames, yes. My grades went down in flames. Ahí lo que estoy haciendo es que ya lo estoy conjugando, ¿ok? Mis notas cayeron, ¿verdad? Bajaron. My grades went, went down in flames. Dependiendo de qué, de qué tiempo usted lo quiere ocupar los idioms, así usted lo va a um, conjugar o lo va a aplicar a, 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 lo, a la estructura que usted le quiera. Bueno, no la estructura, sino que lo va a acomodar al tipo de persona que tiene, si es primera, segunda, tercera persona, lo va a acomodar al tiempo, ¿ok? Al que usted está hablando, sí, es al final, no es que exactamente, bueno, en la mayoría de los casos los sibios se toman exactamente como la frase, pero en la mayoría de veces se tiene que ajustar a lo que usted quiere decir, dependiendo de la persona y dependiendo del tiempo, del tense, ¿ok? So, por eso dije, I went down.
Okay, so I got the last one, which is once in a blue moon. Okay, once in a blue moon means rarely. Uh, uh, it's whenever you, you, you don't do something frequently, okay? For example, guys, uh, we get some, we get interviews once in a blue moon, okay? Les digo que, es, que tenemos interview one, interviews once in a blue moon. Realmente acá no hemos tenido como una interview así. Que se diga que, que guys, miren, vamos a hacer una interview, una entrevista, ¿verdad? Como una actividad de, de parte de la clase. Tal vez han hecho en actividades en los breakout rooms que ustedes han hecho. Pero... Como es una actividad que raramente la hacemos, por eso yo digo once in a blue moon, ¿ok? We make uh, interviews once in a blue moon, ¿ok? We make interviews once in, a in the blue moon. Entonces, como lo digo, lo, como le dije, le dije, guys, sorry, you have to accommodate the idioms, ¿ok? Depending on the person and depending on the tense. So, right now, guys, after, you know, reviewing more idioms, I got six idioms here. And yesterday, we review more idioms. And let me share with you the book. We review more idi idioms yesterday. For example, we learn about a sick as a dog under the weather. There's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Tip top shake. Colleen can afford to and take it easy. So at the end, we're having eight. Let me see. We have 14 idioms, okay? In total. So 14 idioms, all right? So. Let's go ahead and do something. First of all, I want you to please to make one sentence, just one sentence with one of the idioms that calls your attention and send it to the group. Hágame una oración con uno de los idioms que le llame más la atención, ¿ok? El que usted cree que le va a costar más para que lo podamos revisar, ¿le parece? Así usted aprende y lo manda al WhatsApp. Hágame un ejemplo, please. Con uno de esos idioms de estos nuevos. Y luego vamos a hacer otra práctica de idioms. Very good, Sabrina. She goes the extra mile in the text, in the exam, sorry. Okay, very good. Mm, let's see. Hagámosla un poquito más específica, Sabrina. And let's make it, acuérdese que simple present, 
se hace como para cosas repetitivas o hábitos o let's see sí, más que todo como su costumbre pero no se puede decir she goes the extra mile she always goes to the extra mile in her test in her exams or in her test que ella siempre hace un, un, un esfuerzo en sus exámenes o puede decir en pasado I went the extra mile in the test in the exam, sorry that means que, que ella dio su mejor esfuerzo en, en el examen que hizo, right? All right. Let's see, Luis, the apple, the na, fall the far from the tree. What is the idiom? The na fall the far from the tree. Sorry, Luis, I, I don't get you. I don't get the idiom there. Gabriela has not a sick. Gabriela, oh, ok, vamos a ver esta. Gabriela, ahí lo ponemos en presente. Ok. Por ejemplo, ahí estamos diciendo que someone is sick as a dog. So, podemos decir Gabriela is sick as a dog. All right. Gabriela is sick, is sick as a dog. She almost. Aquí vamos a decir entonces solo always, ¿verdad? She always goes the extra mile in the math exam. Ajá, uh -huh, in the math exams. Very good. Great. In el almost, teacher. Yes, uh -huh. it has almost there. So, very Ese, good. Y los idioms se pueden ocupar en negativo también, sí. También, claro que sí, negativo, pueden hacerlo en preguntas, lo pueden hacer en afirmativo, so, the way you want. Oh, sorry, in negative, entonces sería Gabriela is, is not as sick as a dog, ok, is not, or isn't. Gabriela Isen as sick as a dog. O sea que, perdón, este, no se puede ocupar en, eh, como, como que pasó, o sea, ya pasó como que. Oh, entonces se, la... sería el, el was, el pasado de is, el ah. was. Ajá. Gabriela sí. wasen as sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. Good.
Guys, did you finish? Do you have more examples? Remember, the examples that we will make are based on the common idioms, uh, English idioms, okay? So you can make one out of them, okay? One. Okay, teacher, I'm not online because my stomach is killing me. Wow, great job. Very good. Do we have more examples or that's it? Let me see. Don't worry, take it easy. Okay, very good, Mabel. Don't worry, uh, take it easy. Great. Okay, so guys, uh, we will continue then with the class, all right? Uh, we got a reading and a speaking practice, work in the page 34 and and create a conversation with the new idioms, okay? Now it's time to create a conversation with the new idioms, guys. Do me a favor and go to uh, page 34, one moment. Oh, sorry. Page, I'm just, oh, here we have, okay. Um. Go to page 34. Sorry, here we have the page 34. All right, so guys, this is what we'll do right now. I will ask you to please do me a favor and try to... Um, Try to create a story, okay? Try to create a story, like a five lines of story using idioms, as much as idioms as you can, okay? In the story of five lines paragraph. Super short, como le hicieron la vez pasada, hagamos una historia donde incluyan, guys, as many idioms as you can, okay? Y luego lo vamos a leer acá. Okay, so let's do that. Tratemos de incluir todos los idioms y los nuevos. Les voy a mandar una foto de los nuevos idioms para que ustedes los tengan también, ok? Y puedan incluir todos los idioms que sean posible. Okay, I already shared it with you guys. Let's do it. We have, let's see, six minutes to do it. Six minutes, guys. Six minutes to do this, okay? A uh, story using the idioms. Sorry, a story, uh -huh. una historia utilizando los idioms, los, los que más pueden historia. Acuérdense que no hay ninguna restricción al momento de utilizar estructuras o tiempos. Usted puede hacerlo en cualquier tiempo, ocupando cualquier uh, tipo de persona. Solamente que sea una historia y tenga coherencia en los tiempos también, por supuesto, y en las acciones, utilizando los idiomas. ¿Ok? 
que sea lo máximo cinco, li, cinco líneas, ¿ok? Una historia de cinco líneas, máximo. Se lo tenemos que enviar al grupo, teacher. Um, no, lo vamos a compartir aquí en clase. Thank you, Sabrina.
Guys, let me know whenever you finish, please. Okay, guys, time is over. Who wants to share the first story with me? Who wants to try it? Yes? Anyone? Anyone who wants to share it? I, I, I can. Oh, great. Thank you, Sabrina. I really appreciate it. Could you please do it? It says, it was a riddle history. Okay. Today in the morning, I didn't feel good. I had a headache and a stomachache. I really felt as sick as a dog. I think it was because I was so stressful, but I say to myself, take it easy. So I took a big breath and I tried to relax. Now I feel better. Great, Zarina, good job, all right. Could you please choose another person? Estela Mabel. Okay. I'm uh, sorry. I. I underst don't understand. <laughs> ah, okay, no worries. It's fine. 
Um, sorry, Mama, you, you didn't say to me uh, I was going to be explaining to you, but it's fine. Could you please choose another person, Mama? Sorry, teacher, but I try to understand the, the meaning to uh, them uh, write a conversation. Uh, uh, it was difficult. Was it difficult yeah, for you? It's difficult. Hello. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Totally I'm understand. going to try. Okay, thank you, Maven. I really appreciate it, okay? Uh, Sabrina, could you please choose another person? Christian, um, Josue. Okay. Oh, Christian is a listener today. Uh, could you please choose another one? Lisette. Del Carmen. Lizeth. Okay, great. Thank you. My my history is a little blank. Um, the Friday I was a sick like a dog. I had problems with my heart and my stomach was killing me. My mother told me, son, cat got your tongue because I didn't not speak, but because I had an internal pain. Then my girlfriend called me and she invited me to eat, but I didn't not accept because I was butterflies in my stomach for telling, uh, for telling uh, I had diarrhea. And um, but my girlfriend is so sweet, and she told me, Take your easy. Uh, what? Take your easy. Is all okay. Thank you, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Uh, Lisa, could you please choose another person? Good job, mm, Linda Magali. Oh, Maggie, she's a listener today, sorry. Um, actually, we have Maggie, Jaime, Carla, Cristian, Iliana, and Marielos, they are listeners, guys. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. Another person? Listeners. Luis, okay, Luis, let's do it. Sorry, teacher, no lo he terminado todavía. Me había levantado por otra cosa. Ah, okay, let's do it at the end, okay? Luis, choose another person. Marco Hamilcar. Marcos? Okay, teacher. Um, I was singing in the morning and felt butterfly in my stomach uh, from nerves. Uh, then close my eyes and imagine other things, but my stomach is killing me. Uh, what nerves? Uh, but uh, then uh, then a friend um, quit. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher, de que se subió conmigo? Um, where exactly? Sorry. ¿Dónde? Ajá, eh, ajá que, vale, porque eh, después de que puse, but my stomach is killing me with nerves. Then a friend eh, Quit me, quit me up, algo así como que él se sube conmigo, como que me uh, acompaña. Get on, como se subió a un, a un medio de transporte o, o cómo? ¿A dónde me acompañó, o sea, se, me acompañó. Ah, ok, ¿a dónde lo acompañó? Sorry. ¿O, o a okay. qué? A, a solo como que me apoyó en el momento. Ah, ok, sorry uh -huh. que, que le hago muchas preguntas, pero es para brindarle la mejor opción. So, mm -hmm. sería a friend of you supported you, support, right. supported support. you. Lo okay. apoyó, uh -huh. supported yeah, uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. uh, and say with, and, and sing with me. And he told me, take it easy. I will sing with you. Finish. Okay, very good. Thank you for asking. Okay, good job, uh, Milkan. Could you please choose another person? Marco Antonio, el okay. Great, thank you, Marcos Antonio. Go for it. Okay. 
I don't, I, I don't not understand it. Um, hello, Claudia, how are you? I Hi. am fine. Um, and you? I am very well. Thanks. Tell me, my stomach is killing me. Really, Marcos? Take it easy. You will call the hospital. Uh, sorry, Claudia. My dog is six two. Um, it's very, it's, it's very bad. Your dog is ugly. You can you can call the veterinary. Um, finally. Okay, finish. Very good, Marcos Antonio. Good job. It's fine, okay? Because you're using the idiom, so it's fine, okay? Good. Uh, could you please choose another person, Marcos? Okay. Um, um, Linda Magali. Maggie is a listener. Is a listener. Uh, Jarixa. Uh, Jarixa. Oh, yes, Jarixa, are you ready? No here. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Hello, Anna. How are you? I left the previous bus, but I could you see, see you. I could see you. Good. Yes. A blessing in this case and how are how are your the, ki the kids good and um, the kids got got a new new dog and they wear hair over hell for it Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Jarixa, could you please choose another person? Fatima. Fatima? Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, my sister is sick as a dog. She made a call in sick to her boss and did not believe her. She was snug as a bug in a row in her bed, but she had to go the extra mile and to go down in flames to her work. Finish. Wow, very good, good, wonderful. Okay, Fatima, choose another person, please. Um, Luis? Luis, are you ready now? Boy, boy, teacher. No sé si está bien, teacher, lo he hecho la carrera. It's fine, eh, just try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, my partner, my partner is very busy. Uh, he has a lot of activities to do and gets very stressed. I said, uh, take it easy. Uh, and I help you for to finish early. Uh, Otherwise, he has a sick as a dog. Okay, very good. Great, Luis. Choose another person, please. Who's missing? I believe it's missing Julio. Julio. Julio, right? 
Did you do it, Julia? My sister, this person, I told her to take it easy yesterday. Corinne sick. She felt as sick as a dog. She told me my sister prescribed medicine. Finish. Okay, Julio, I heard some of the idioms, but I believe there was a problem with the connection, but thank you. I heard some of them, okay? Very good. Um, Mabel, I just want to, to, to help you, right? I just want to know how, uh, how can I, I mean, how can I help you in order for us to get a, a better idea about those idioms? Is there any way that maybe I can provide you more examples, Mabel? Oh, guys, what do you think? Oh, I <clears throat> I try to understand and I write something. Great, and... let's share with us. Okay. Remember, we're learning. Don't worry, Mabel. Okay. I went to the beach with my family. My young daughter loves the beach. Uh, we ate fried fish and fried potatoes. I, I, I as sick as a dog, but I can't afford to. Okay, you were sick as a dog, but I can afford to? Ese no le, no le entendí lo último, sorry. Yes, uh, like something. <laughs> oh, ahí le but, puede decir like, I can afford to go home. Creo que era si era, I can afford, I can afford to go home. Como que usted no alcanzó a llegar a casa, right? Ok. Ajá. Ok. O, I, sí, perdón, sí. tenía que ser en pasado, right? So sería, I couldn't. El pasado de Ken, I, I couldn't, couldn't afford. I couldn't afford. Ajá, I couldn't afford. Entonces acá, Mabel, okay. eh, lo, 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 lo que hacemos es que lo, lo conjugamos dependiendo del tiempo que usted lo quiera poner. Lo que va a cambiar es el verbo de, de lo que es el idioma. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, Amber, but you did it great, ok? Guys, I want to ask you if you have questions regarding this right now. Tienen preguntas de los idioms, necesitan más ejemplos. O cómo podemos hacer, guys. Deme un segundo. Guys, no questions? Okay, um, uh, right. So guys, we will continue then. Uh, we will start, sorry, with the, with the topic that we have for today. Let's see, it's nine, right? Sorry. Okay, so let's see. We have a practice in the page 35, okay? We got a practice in the page 35. I will share that page, the page 35, for you to start reading this. Let's go ahead and read in, uh, I'm sorry, read the conversation between Dave and between Tom. Let's read it. Try to understand the bold words, okay? And try to discuss with your partner about the bold words, okay? Remember, 
those both words are phrasal verbs. We will later on talk about phrasal verbs. Don't worry. But try to understand the meaning of this of these phrasal verbs with your partner. After that, let's go ahead and try to answer those questions. Okay. So this will be mostly like a kind of reading uh, practice, okay? And reading comprehension practice, okay? Before you go to the breakout rooms, guys, I will go through the attendance of this. And while I'm taking the attendance, let's have a reading. Let's have, let's have this conversation. Uh, let's read this conversation, sorry. Before, um, I mean in, while I am taking the attendance list, okay? Please. Para que ya vayan un poco adelantados cuando se vayan al break room. Ángela Estefanía Marroquí Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés, thank you. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Ramírez Abrevalo. Carla Elizabeth Present. Escobar Esquivel. Thank you. Present. Jenny yeah. Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Kevin Alexandra Aguilar Bonilla. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Marta Lidia Godínez. No. Sabrina Lizeth no. García Orellana. No. Present. No. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Great. Thank you guys. Okay. So let's make the the, the pairs right now, guys. Vamos a hacer las parejas rapidito. Y como les digo, vamos a tratar de entender las palabras que están en bold. Bold words. Si quiere investigar cuál es la meaning of the words, you can do it. Lo puede investigar y respondan lo que es estas preguntas. Okay. Let's have 10 minutes to do that, guys. 10 minutes. I will create the breakout rooms right now. Allow me just a moment, please. Come back to you. Teacher. Yes, Luis. Uh, what is the difference between turn off and switch off? Turn off and switch off. Yes. Um, there is not too much difference. As far as I know, there is no difference, but let me let me review right now, okay? okay. Mm. 
Ya, ya le ayudo a Luis con eso, solamente hemos dado un término de asignarlos a todos. Let me see, you are, okay. Who's missing, Sabrina? Okay, lo voy a agregar aquí. Uh -huh, Marcos, you're amazing. Okay, okay. Number five, no. Number four. Um, Maggie. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. power. Great. By the way, did you call, call up the electrician, uh, the engine, engine does, doesn't stop the turn off? And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that. If you don't don't oil oil it,
Teacher, did you send the image on WhatsApp group of the conversation? Oh, no, sorry. Let me send it to you right now. Okay. Just allow me one moment. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Lo leyó Luis. Ah, sorry. <risa> Te estaba esperando practicar. Ah, sorry, just one moment. Ahorita lo estoy tratando de mandar. Ok. Ok, don't, sorry. Sorry, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Sabrina. Ready? Ready. I'm Dave and you Tom. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that? See. Sí. I think creo que si tú no echa, no le echas aceite regularmente podría Dice que significa agarrotarse. Say up. Enroscarse. Ajá. ¿Cómo, ajá? Como trabarse o agarrotarse. Ah, ah. Now answer the question, dice. Number three, and pi work. This calls a question below. Number one, what seems to be the problem? The problem was uh, the engine doesn't stop the turn off there. Sí. One, the engine the engine doesn't stop the turn off. Number two. Is what kind of jobs do you think they and Tom have? Mechanics. I think that. Mm -hmm. I think that mechanics. Or mantenimiento. Technical mantenimiento. Technical. Mechanical. Technical. Number three, number three, who is charge of checking the machinery and equipment at the workplace? Uh, in my, for example, in my work, uh, regularly the mechanic checking Teacher. Yes, guys. 
La pronunciación de I need to detain up. I need to uh, tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten. Y tighten up, teacher, es como, como apretar. Uh -huh. Exacto. Apretar. Eh, The screw. The screw. The screw. Mm -hmm. Clean up es limpiar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Switch off. Switch off. Apagar. Mm -hmm. Call up, llamar. Y turn off, apagar. That's right. There you go. Good. Y uh, al final dice seis... Eh, seis seis up. Seis up. Uh, one moment, let me check it out. Mm -hmm. Seis up. Seis up. Seis up. Mm -hmm. Y si lo podemos traducir al español, es como que podría ser. The sap will be, yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will see sap eventually. Se va a endurecer. O sí, se va a endurecer o encangrenar, algo así. No es endurecer más que todo. Ok. Okay. Viendo la conversación, vamos a responder las. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Okay. Okay. I'll be back, guys. Sí. Hello, hello. El sentido de la, de, la, de la oración cambia cuando es call up. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, did you call the electrician? Tiene el mismo sentido que yo diga, did you call up the electrician? The same meaning, yes, llamar. Ajá. Pero cuando usamos con up se convierte en phrasal verb. Exactly. ¿Y cuándo es más que todo neces o necesario prudente usar el phrasal verb? No phrasal verb. Mm. ¿Cómo le explico, Sabrina? Realmente en todo momento. Ajá. En todo momento lo podemos utilizar. Eh, no hay problema. Solamente que tenemos dos maneras para decirlo, ¿verdad? Ya sea call o call up. Cualquiera de las dos lo puede utilizar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Pero aquí no influye lo formal y lo informal. No influye eso. Mm, no, no, no. Mm. Actually, phrase overs are, are... I mean, they are not informal. They are not informal. They are formal. So, oh. it depends on you. Uh -huh. No, no son como los idioms, porque los idioms sí son un poco más informales, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así que estos no, no son, no son realmente informales. Usted los puede utilizar en todo momento y en todo lugar. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Ok. Ok. De la frase donde dice, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, ¿Qué significará? ¿Cuál? Al final, la última, the last ah, sentence is when... I think that... Ajá, porque... We say, uh, yeah, I think that if you don't oil it... I need that spanner, please. I need to titter up the screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to wish off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up 
eventually. That's correct. Okay, um, let's start. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to tear up this script. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine don't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't clean up the room before he left. Mm -hmm. I think that if you don't clean up the room before he left. Sí. I'm asking him to the switch room off before. the power. The power. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked I ask him mm -hmm. to switch off the power. Mm -hmm. Great, Lucy. By it's the way. Mm -hmm. This is it's, it's just like, oh. Presionar, ¿verdad? El interruptor. Sí. Switch off the, pa uh -huh. the power. Uh -huh. okay. Pero bueno, en ese caso hizo, le, se apagó ajá, el interruptor. Hizo, la pregunta, <risa> hizo uh -huh. la pregunta de apagarlo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? Que se llama el electricista. Uh -huh. uh, the engine doesn't stop to, to turn off. Pero en, en, en este caso uh -huh. dice de que el ingeniero no dejaba de apagarlo, o sea, no paraba de, de, de apagarlo. Uh -huh. Y eso es lo que les creó el problema. Uh -huh. Que él no dejaba de apagarlo. The, the engine doesn't stop to turn off. Uh -huh. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil, oil it regularly, it will save up, save up eventually. Yes. I would say exactly. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. correct, correctly. Correctly. Mm -hmm. What's in? See, I tell. Oh, I tell problem. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your practice. Let's see. Is there any way that someone can help me to read the conversation? Any volunteer who wants to read it to practice with your partner? Yeah. 
What did you say, teacher? I didn't hear. Oh, do do we have a volunteer so can just practice the conversation? Can read it? Okay. I can read with my okay. partner. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay, let's do it, guys. Yo me ofrecí, Luis, en eso. No se enoje. Ya me encachimbe. Don't turn off the, the camera. Take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, Luis. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Luis, if you have, you start. <risa> para okay. que se termine de no y encima que le, que le empiece Sabrina <risa> y encima no, qué vergüenza <risa> ok Tom I, oh, sorry Sabrina, I need your help can you pass me that spanner please I need to think, think that out uh, this screw sure, here you go Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did. Be no, pero... Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Ahí era. Lo siento que se me apagó el teléfono. Sí, ahí era. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up uh, the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Teacher, tenía que ser memorizado. No, 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 it's oh, fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, good job. Uh, let me share the screen. Let me see, where is it? Here I have it. All right, so let me, let's repeat after me, all of you guys. Tom, I need your help. Tom, I need your help. Need your help. Guys, all of you, please, todos. Uh, can you pass me this spanner, please? Can, can you pass me, me this, that spanner, yes, please? please. Uh, I need to uh, tighten up this this screw. Sorry, I need to tighten up this screw. I need to tighten, tighten, tighten up this screw. This screw. Join in now. This screw. Very, very good. Just one S, right? This screw. Sure. Here you go. Sure. Here you go. Thanks, thanks a lot. Look, did. Keith clean up the room before he left? Thanks a lot. Did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the, tr the electrician? Great. By the way, did you call up by the, the, way, did you the, the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, Regularly, it will cease up eventually. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think yeah. that yeah. if you don't yeah. know it, yeah. it yeah. regularly, yeah. it will cease yeah. up yeah. eventually. Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, you repeat size up, cease up, cease. Sorry, <laughs> I just up. Cisap, 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 Okay, let's see. Zizap, Z, Zizap, 
sorry, this app. Uh, okay, Marcos Antonio and Julio. Could you please help me with the with the meaning of the words? What is the meaning of t Titan app? Titan app. Mm -hmm. Como apretar tornillo, como apretar. Okay. What about clean up? Como limpiar. Very good. What about switch off? Um, como es el... Apagar, Apagar, right? Mm -hmm. Apagar. Collab? Collab? Llamar. Mm -hmm. Turn off? Apagar. Z-zap? Z-zap? I don't know. Endurecer? Endurecerse o encangrenarse, right? A encangrenarse. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera de los dos. Is, like, if you don't oil something, then it's it will zap eventually. Vaya, guys, eh, esos son phrasal verbs, okay? Sorry, my camera, okay. Those are phrasal verbs, all right? Y esos phrasal verbs, guys, pueden entrar en cualquier tipo de tense, de cualquier tipo de tiempo, se parecen los idioms. En cuanto a la acomodación del verbo en la oración, va a depender de con qué tipo de persona usted lo va a ocupar y qué tipo, es, qué tipo de tiempo usted va a ocupar, ¿ok? Va a depender de eso. No hay como uno, eh, un tiempo estipulado o, o realmente una estructura que debe de seguir, no. Es como un verbo, solamente que se le llama phrasal verse, guys, porque realmente es una frase verbal. Ya vamos a ver más acerca de eso. Now, I will ask Mabel's team, okay, Mabel's team, uh, to help me to discuss the questions below. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Mabel, Mabel y Amilcar, I believe. Yes, Mabel y Amilcar. Mabel, you asked the question to Amilcar. And Amilcar okay. answered the question, okay? Lo vamos a hacer así. Okay. Primero, Mabel pregunta la number one, Amilcar responde. La number two, Amilcar le pregunta a Mabel. Y la number three, Mabel a Amilcar. ¿Ok? Let's okay. do it. Eh, Amilcar, what seems to be the problem? Let me see. Uh, ¿Quién le va a ayudar a, a Milcar? Va a ser Lisset, ¿ok? Lisset le va a ayudar a Milcar. Ok, let's do it, guys. Ok. Hi. Uh, the problem in the, the machine is the... Um, the problem with machine is... I think the... Uh, doesn't stop the turn off. Okay. The problem with them, with, with them, the problem is that the machine doesn't S stop. Doesn't stop. Doesn't stop to turn off, right? Okay, great, great, guys. Okay, Mabel, ask the other questions and they will help, they will help you to, to answer it. Okay. What kind of job do you think Dave and Tom have? It's for me the question. Either yeah. or, either Amilcar or Lisette. Yeah. Entre los dos, guys, ayude. Ah, okay. Uh, I think that... Uh, is an engineer and an operator because uh, the, the one person mm -hmm. tell, did you call up the electrician? Mm -hmm. 
Entonces, yo entiendo que ninguno de los dos es mecánico ni electricista. ¿Qué piensas, think, Amilcar? Sí, es el supervisor de la área. Ok, let me see. O, o ingeniero. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Fátima, Fátima, what do you think? Fátima. Yes, uh, is a opera, operator and engineer? Or oh, Jeff, Jeff? Okay, who who's Dave? Is he the operator or the engineer? Dave is engineer. Supervisor. Boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boss. <laughs> or the boss. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. What about Tom? Who's Tom? He's operator. Guys, ¿están de acuerdo con ellos? What do you think? For me, Otro it's okay. en mantenimiento. Oh, sorry. Otro en mantenimiento. Mm -hmm. They work in maintenance. Mm -hmm. They work in the maintenance team, right? Great. Last question, Mabel. Last question. This question will be for Fatima and Julio. Okay. Who is in charge of checking the ma ma machinery? The person is in charge of checking the machinery is they. Dave. Fatima, what do you think? In my job, the, uh, the department, the IT department is checking the machine, machinery. The IT, right? The IT department. Yes. Um, Lisette, what do you think? Sorry. Um, repeat the question, please. Who is in charge of checking the machinery uh, and equipment at your work at your workplace? Sorry. Okay, I answer this question with my partner Fatima, and we answer based of the our workplace. For example, I in my workplace. Always check the machine, the mechanic. Okay. And that's okay, it. very good. Um, so Julio said that it was the IT department, right? Very good. Then you say the mechanic. I believe the Fatima answered the same, right? Yes. yes. Ah, oh, okay, the mechanic, right? Okay, guys, very good. Very good reading comprehension, okay? Very good. Let's see. Uh, let me share the screen. Mm, no, I believe we're good there. Okay, guys, so um, how to use two words, phrasal verbs. Some verbs are two parts verb, okay? They consist on a verb 
and a particle or a small word, small word, sorry, like a preposition. The particle often gives a, me a new meaning to the verb, all right? So guys, basically, not less phrasal verbs, son frases verbales que consisten, ¿verdad? En un verbo más una partícula. Esta partícula es la mayoría de veces una palabra más corta como una preposición. A veces es una, un adverbio. Puede ser preposición o adverbio. Y esta partícula es la que le da un nuevo significado, la mayoría de veces le da un nuevo significado al verbo que ya tenemos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, let's see. Tenemos el verbo take, take plus after, ¿ok? Take after. After es una preposición, take es el verbo. Entonces, take, usted sabe qué es. What is the meaning of take, guys? Tomar. Tomar, very good. After? What is the meaning of the preposition after? Después. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, si usted viene, guys, y lo interpreta así gris, usted dice, ah, tomar después, ¿verdad? Eso es literalmente. Pero... Por eso se crearon los phrasal verbs. Son frases verbales que a usted le da un significado la mayoría de veces totalmente diferente a lo que usted lee. No es tan literal el significado, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, este es un um, phrasal verb and the example is the following. He takes after his father. ¿Ok? He takes after his father. Y aquí estamos viendo que también, al igual que los idioms, tiene esa similitud que lo vamos a conjugar también. ¿Ok? Y puede eh, acomodarse a cualquier tipo de estructura, cualquier tiempo, cualquier tipo de persona, pero se tiene que conjugar. Ahora bien, which is the difference? Uh, one of the difference, guys, is the one is informal. And the one that is informal is the idiom. Los idioms son un poco más informales y se utilizan más en spoken English, ¿ok? En el um, inglés que se habla. En cambio, los phrasal verbs, guys, no los considero informales. Al contrario, los podemos utilizar en cualquier momento, en cualquier lugar, ¿ok? <coughs> y realmente, pues, no son informales como les digo, ¿verdad? Um, este es básicamente como la diferencia. Uh, so what is the meaning of take after? Why, what does it mean? Whenever I say he takes after his father, that means he looks like his father or he behaves like his father. El significado de take after es parecer a, parecerse a alguien. Take after. Nada que ver con el literal meaning, okay? Take after, parecerse a alguien. Teacher, but how... Am I going to, you know, how am I going to know, or, or sorry, how, how should I learn those type of phrasal verbs, okay? How should I learn those type of phrasal verbs? Or how should I um, practice? How should I, you know, learn them or know them? You will know them or you will practice guys, those phrasal verbs by memorizing the phrasal verbs, ¿ok? Memorizarlos, practicarlos, esa es la manera. ¿Por qué? Porque pues realmente no todos los phrasal verbs van a ser con un significado literal, sino que pueden ser unos de que nada que ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, Teacher, ¿sí? I have a question. Eh, entonces, aprender los este, los ¿Cómo se llaman eso? Phrasal verbs. No, no, eso. También tenemos que aprendernos el significado en español. Ajá, exactly. O Ajá, incluso porque... usted se lo puede aprender en inglés. El Ajá, significado, porque, right? Porque mi, mi forma de aprender el inglés 
es que primero tengo que saber qué significa en español. Cosa que, cosa que en, en, en estos, en estas frases veo que son dos, o sea, las dos cosas. Yo ya sé que take es tomar y after es después, pero ya haciendo la combinación ya significan otra Otro cosa. significado, exacto. Ajá, entonces lo que yo tengo que aprenderme son todos, todos esos, es, esas, ¿qué? Breakable, ¿ya? Yeah. Y saber qué significan. O sea, la, las dos palabras. Exacto. Entonces, eso es lo que debo de hacer. Ya, ya lo entiendo. Okay. Exacto. You're welcome. Um, so, voy a tratar de mandarles, guys, un, un, um, some phrasal verbs, okay, in a PDF, a PDF list of phrasal verbs. <coughs> Para que ustedes las tengan. Guys, hay muchísimos phrase helpers en el mundo. Like, a lot. De verdad, hay un montón, guys. And, Motívenos, teacher. Obviamente, eh, si usted me dice, teacher, deme todos los phrase helpers. Like, uh, mention all of them. Yo obviamente no me los puedo todo, guys. No, I can. I can all of, I can, I mean, I, I cannot memorize them, all of them. Of course, I try and and I'm continue learning. Okay, that's the way that we are doing it because we are, we are learners. Okay, I mean, we are learning a second language. We're not a second language. That's not a second language. That is a foreign language. Es un idioma extranjero. Entonces, eh, acá nos toca memorizarlo, guys. Encontré unos ahorita, pero... Mm. Teacher, pero ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? O sea, ¿por qué hace eso en inglés? O sea, porque yo entiendo que he takes... After es él toma después cuando dice que él se parece a. O ¿Cómo sea, así? No, 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 no sé. O sea, o sea, porque como le decía, takes es como tener. Usted o sea, me dice que ¿por qué me lo están haciendo difícil? No. O sea, es que yo, es que yo siempre me he preguntado que por qué la, 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 o sea, las dos palabritas significan otra cosa. O sea, ¿por qué Porque no... por eso son los phrase helpers. <ríe> por eso <Okay>. los crearon. <ríe> ah, entonces ahí es donde ya me confundo yo. Porque, o sea, yo pienso que significa lo que a mí me enseñaron al principio cuando después ya significa otra cosa. Pero bueno, es parte de la, de la clase o parte del aprendizaje, se puede decir. Exacto. Ok, continuo. Ustedes lo van, a, lo van a identificar mediante el contexto también, guys. ¿ok? Porque qué tal si usted se encuentra con una proposición y un verbo. Y de hecho eso vamos a hablar ahorita. Gracias, Marcos. Pero antes les voy a compartir eh, 500 phrasal verbs. <laughs> For you to have them, ¿ok? 500 phrasal verbs. <coughs> les mandé 500 <coughs> phrasal verbs ahorita, guys. No les quería mandar menos, um, porque ustedes tienen libertad aquí de from A, from A to Z, to memorize them, to have them, okay, to use them, okay, to study them, guys. So there you have, okay. Y no es que, no es que lo hago por maldad, claro que no, guys, oh my God, lo ah, hago para sí, ayudarles. Sí, o para ah, que no, teacher, no me desanime, no, claro que curso, no. Entonces, te puedes que nos quiere. No, es una, es un resource, es un, um, es, es bien, un resource teacher. que les estoy brindando, guys. So, take Thank it into you. account. Ok, so guys, miren. Ahorita les comparto la pantalla, les voy a continuar explicando, ¿sí? Entonces, um, we have another example, like call off. Mary called off the, me the meeting. Mary canceled the meeting. Si ustedes se fijan, that's completely different from the other one, right? Because the other one was collab, right? Collab. Eso significa just 
call. But what about call off? Call off means cancel, okay? Mary cancel uh, the meeting. That's what it, what is the meaning of call off. Guys, si ustedes me preguntan how important are, how important are they? They are very important, okay? They are very important. What about if you read this? And you don't understand it because you don't know the meaning of call off. Okay, that's a big problem, guys. Sometimes it's different. It's very difficult to go ahead and do it by the context. Y solamente entenderlo por el contexto a veces es muy difícil. Bueno, no muy difícil. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes, pero sometimes it's easy. Pero en este caso, call off. Mm, tendríamos que saber el meaning para entender que canceló la meeting, ¿ok? Entonces lo que les quiero decir es de que acá, called, that's in past, está en pasado. Aunque el phrasal verb dice call off, pero lo estamos conjugando, ¿ok? Le estamos agarrando la ed porque estamos haciéndolo en pasado. Entonces recuérdense, lo vamos a conjugar también así como los idioms. Esto se usa más que los idioms. Porque eso se utiliza en written and spoken English, all the all, all English, ¿ok? Se ocupa en todo el idioma, guys. <clears throat> La última cosita acá. Hay phrasal verbs, bueno, los phrasal verbs pueden separarse y no pueden separarse. What does it mean, teacher? Ok. Fíjense estos ejemplos. Yo puedo decir, vamos el ejemplo con call off. <clears throat> Eso está junto, ¿ok? Aquí está junto. ¿Qué pasa si yo lo separo? Sí se puede separar. ¿Cómo, teacher? Se puede separar, guys, si yo digo, por ejemplo, Mary call off the meeting. Ya tenemos un ejemplo ahí. Mary call, called off the meeting. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo, ahí está junto, ¿qué pasa si yo lo quiero separar? Yo puedo decir así, puedo poner el objeto in the middle, el objeto en medio. Mary, call, sorry, call the meeting off. También puedo decirlo así, ¿ok? Mary called the meeting off. Mary called off the meeting and Mary called the meeting off. Por ejemplo, acá yo puedo decir... It, it means the same, solamente que lo estoy separando. Significa lo mismo. Puedo decir también aquí, he takes his father after. Mm, fíjense que tengo dudas de esta. I believe this is now. It sounds weird for me. It sounds weird. He takes his father after. Tengo mis duditas con eso, pero I believe yes. Pero let me, let me make sure. Pasaron. Es que se escucha raro. Takes after. Separable or insep, inseparable. So, puede un, 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 este, un phrase adverb puede ser separable o puede no ser separable. Ok. Hmm, ya decía yo, miren. Eh, take after es inseparable. Uh -huh. Este es inseparable. Entonces, si usted tiene duda, guys, ¿saben cómo ustedes van a saber si, si, si verdad es o no es? ¿Cómo se escuche, guys? Yo, la verdad, como les digo, a mí no me gustó. He takes his father after. He takes his father after. Este no es, inse no es separable, miren. Takes after, no. Pero el de abajo sí. Mary Kell, the meeting off. ¿Ok? So, acá más que todo, teacher, pero ¿cómo voy a saber si es separable o separable? ¿Nos da una fórmula, please? Ah, no, guys, no hay una fórmula. Ok, no hay una fórmula. Um, quiero ver, oh my God, time is over. Vamos a tratar la manera de seguir viendo. Le voy, voy, a, voy a investigar. Yo, I don't believe it. Puede ser, ok, puede ser, porque ay, en inglés se acuerdan con los verbos irregulares que yo, no, 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 no fue con ustedes que, ustedes que les dije que los verbos irregulares no hay una fórmula, no hay un rule, no hay una regla, pero hay ciertas características que a veces a usted le ayuda a formar un verbo uh, irregular, 
Usted sabe cómo es, porque con el verbo regular usted sabe que termina en ed, ¿verdad? Y usted tiene la fórmula, los que terminan en eso, yo le agrego esto y esto y esto. Pero con los regulares solamente aprendérselos. Déjenme, les investigo, yo creo, los más, estoy más que seguro que no hay una fórmula para saber si es separable o no separable. Pero aquí está un punto donde ustedes pueden saber si es separable o no separable, que es esto, miren. Este, así, for sure, así es, es una regla. Vaya, acá yo lo expliqué con el nombre, que es his father, the meeting, pero qué tal si yo reemplazo the, the meeting or his father con un pronombre. Aquí sí no se puede separar para nada. Ok, para nada, aunque el verbo, aunque call off, se pueda separar, es un phrase a ver que se puede separar, yo no lo puedo separar, ok. So yo puedo decir, Mary called, call off, call off it, ¿ok? Yo puedo reemplazar el, el meeting por el it, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá, guys, yo no puedo decir, Mary call off it, no puedo. O sea, aquí, perdón, era, era el contrario, se tiene que separar, se tiene que separar, sí o sí, ¿ok? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Pasarlo al, 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 al medio. Es lo que les explicaba, creo, en una clase de esta. Entonces, ese it yo lo tengo que poner acá en medio. Entonces, yo tengo que decir, Mary, call it off. Call it off. ¿Ok? No puedo poner, no puedo poner el pronombre de último. So, ¿Qué quiere decir? Que aquí sí o sí yo lo tengo que separar. Sí o sí. Guys, no puedo poner el it al final. ¿Ok? Cuando es, estamos hablando de un pronombre, yo tengo que separar el, el verbo. No hay choice acá. Dice, okay. pero si a mí se me olvida, uh, no le pongo el it. No, no, no. Acuérdese que el it yo lo estoy dando como un ejemplo nada más, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo, si en caso usted uh -huh. se encuentra un, 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 un texto donde usted ve un pronombre. Entonces, acuérdese que el it... Le está reemplazando the meeting, ¿verdad? Hay casos donde usted ya habló de algo y continúa hablando de lo mismo, entonces ya no quiere repetir mucho the meeting, the meeting, the meeting, entonces usted dice it, ¿verdad? Eso. Lo reemplaza. ¿Mm? Es eso, eso, correcto. O cuando yo digo Marcos fue a la playa, Marcos hizo esto, Marcos con su familia, entonces es muy repetitivo. Para en, no decir en, un en la playa hizo esto, en la Ajá. playa comió No, esto, no en que Marcos en la playa hizo eso, entonces yo digo Marcos fue a la playa, luego él hizo eso con su familia, él esto, entonces yo ya sé que estoy hablando de Marcos, ah. aunque diga él. De eso se trata de reemplazar los pronombres. Y cuando ya se usted sabe lo que es en la playa. Exacto. Entonces, cuando pasa eso, que usted lo quiera reemplazar, no puede ponerse al final. No puedo decir Mary call off it, sino que Mar Mary call, call it off. That's it. Mañana es por el tiempo, sorry que les quité ya un minuto, mañana vamos a seguir explicando un poquito más y viendo más ejemplos de eso cuando son separables y no separables, ¿ok? So. Mañana, tomorrow, tomorrow, okay? So, sí, guys, no I know, I know. I mean, we are in the middle of the practice of the explanation. So, tomorrow, vamos a seguir viendo los phrasal verbs y vamos a ver si los separables, no separables, guys. Así que, I thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it, guys. Let me stop sharing and let me go through the attendance list. Los que vaya mencionando pueden salirse de la meeting. Solamente le voy a pedir a Sabrina, could you please Menciona stay with me today? Primera, Sabrina se puede quedar conmigo. Yes, teacher, I can. Thank you. Vaya, rapidito, guys. Vamos a ir así uno por uno para que no se enoje nadie. <coughs> Vamos a empezar. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández, Miss Smith. A Angela, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Cristian José López Pérez. 
Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Marta Lidia Godínez. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Fátima Anissa Aguilar Márquez. Present. Good night, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Uh, Carla, sorry, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Bye bye. 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 Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Bye. Bye. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Um, Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barriento. Present teacher. Have a good night. Have a good night. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Good night. Good night. Take care. And Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Mabel. Take care. Hello, hello, Sabrina. How are you today? I'm tired, but fine. Tired? <laughs> yes, I'm tired as well. Very tired, and it's still Tuesday. <laughs> right? Um, I wanted to use a word, but I don't Mary, remember. Teacher, not, my mom is next to me now. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Um, saludes a su mami. Thank you, thank you. Gracias igual. Gracias, Un mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Me ¿Te parece? Que está embarazada, esperando bebé. Sí, sí, gracias a Dios, sí. Ahí vamos. Ay, pues, bien, la felicito. Muchas gracias, muy amable. Un placer, ¿ok? Cuídense mucho. Se parece a, a usted, se parece a su mamá. Yes, yes. La dos super en, la, en el color de piel. Y también el modo. Ajá. Sí, eso, bien alegre las dos. Ay, qué bueno. La alegría es un antídoto para no envejecer luego. Verdad, verdad, ya no me voy a enojar mucho. Por nada, por nada. Bueno, un gusto. Mm. Ay, muchas gracias, Sabrina, por presentarme a su mami. <ríe> bueno, Sabrina, entonces quería preguntarle, bueno, let's switch to, to English, right? Yeah. I, I wanted mm -hmm. to ask you, uh, Sabrina, how, how do you feel? How do you feel in this course? How do you feel with your learning process? What are the areas of opportunity that you can see with your learning? Um, I mean, how can I help you? You know, this is a one-on-one, so just take advantage of this time and, and try to ask me whatever you want. If you want to practice more, if you have any doubt about a topic, just ask me, Sabrina, I'm here. Well, I think that now we are starting to learn about the difficult topic, like more Do than- Do you think so? <laughs> memorize. For example, uh, the phrasal verbs and yeah. los idioms, los idioms. Mm -hmm. And I think that I, I, I need to memorize, memorize. Memorize them. Memorize them. Uh -huh. And I think that just that, for example, it, to, to today with the phrasal verb, I didn't understand why we add up at the end of the verb, but change the sense of the word, of mm -hmm. the phrase. Yes, that's right. And just memorize them, really? Yes, <laughs> that's the only thing, like memorize them all. Um, I'm actually, trying to look right now some videos uh, about 
like idioms right now and about phrasal verbs. I actually found one that I really like it and I will show you right now. Uh, let me see, video idioms about, sorry, <laughs> video about idioms. Yes. yes. Videos about idioms. That's a cool one. All right, let's let's go ahead and, and and take a take a look to the to the video. It's really awesome. Um, and I will share with you now one one from phrasal verbs. One from phrasal verbs. <laughs> you know what? I found one that uh that is from Super Holy. Do you know Super Holy? No, I don't know. No, you don't know. You know you don't know her. Super Holy is is one girl that. I believe it's influencer. She said that yes, she's influencer, and she is in the um, she appears in Facebook, like all the topics in Facebook. Okay, she's trying to. I believe sometimes criticize. <laughs> sí, a veces pone como a criticar a las personas, no a criticar sino que analizar el inglés de las personas, o oh, to teach you the pronunciation of of this because she is American. <laughs> Um, so that's basically what I wanted uh, to mention that I will go ahead and um, share with you some videos all right, about this so it can help you about phrasal verbs. Okay, so let's continue, Sabrina. Tell me what else I can do and, you know, any comments, any opinion about this? Well, I think that that's all but what what more oh on the platform i have i had trouble i think the last week but in this week it was okay actually i i did i had on the whole week on the platform mm -hmm. the five homework ah, okay and that's all something i did i do the next and I try to understand on the platform, the homework on the platform, and on the class I was try to understand mm -hmm. and to correct them. Exactly. But, uh -huh. Yes, and whenever you have any questions about the platform, please let let me know. Okay, about this. Uh, I know sometimes it's, it's a little bit difficult because of the inconveniences we're having with the platform, with the errors and everything. So, and I do apologize for this because I know it's not your fault, but uh, if there is anything that I can do, you know that you can count on me, you can let me know so I will be able to to resolve your doubt, doubts or to find like a resolution about any 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 issue that you're having okay so just let me know and I, I will go ahead and help you with this and of course i want to say congratulations as well again uh because you're doing a great job uh you're always doing a great job keep it up like that okay whenever you are not in class i always worried about you and i say wow what's going on with sabrina right <laughs> I know sometimes we cannot go and we cannot be over there. I know, but it is because of your responsibility or because and because of how you are. It is because I get worried about it. And I always, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm trying to, I mean, I'm, I'm actually uh, trying to take like, 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 like let's, take care of you right take care of your learning because i know it's uh i mean i'm so proud of you and your learning it's really good i mean it's been uh it's been awesome right i mean it's it's been improving 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 and you know i know but that by end by some part i have been part of this learning and i feel responsible for that as well and that's why i worried about it but at the end Serena, the student is the one that um that is doing it i mean no one's but you um 
you know that you're the one that you're doing so, right? Nobody else. I believe that I am just the instructor, right? Or the ones who provide you the, provides you the tool. But at the end, the student is the, the one that, the the make it make it happen right so that's what i what i think about that sabrina and right now i'm sharing the video about phrase overs okay for you to have more phrase information overs. about phrase overs exactly and that's the video that is in context right like a kind of a story and it is explaining to you the meaning as well so it's really good all right, really good video about phrasal verse. So I will put over there. Let's watch the video, guys. But it's <laughs> not about Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. <laughs> no, it's not about it. Almost, no, 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 it's not about it at all. At all. I love him. <laughs> I love him too. That will help you, Lois. And that, that will help you a lot. Okay, uh, so I hope that you can also watch the videos. I know it's going to be taking more time, Sabrina, but at the end, we need to have more practice about this, right? And try to learn more and more and more, right? As much as we can. And as I mentioned before, and you know that you count on me, and if you have any questions, let me know, because I'll be there, all right? And I am um, uh, actually like paying attention about all your process because I'm interested at the end that you you succeed, okay, in this course and in all the courses. So thank you very much for your participation and for being like that, Sabrina, okay? I try, I try to share. For example, I was, I was talking with, in the main rooms, mm -hmm. I was talking, I don't, I don't remember when, but uh, we are talking with my partner and one of them told me that when they don't want to speak or don't want to participate and I participate and maybe sometimes I say something wrong or something incorrect and they try to participate because they hear me, listen, listen. <laughs> oh, and they listen participate. to you. And, forever, and for that, they are participating too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but do you what? mean your classmates here in this course? In or this in, course, yes. In no, in this, this course? course. Wow. Yeah, in this course, and I say, wow. And, and another, another day, one of them told me that uh, the, the start in the class was bar worried. Because I didn't stay, I, I wasn't. <laughs> you wasn't in the, do you remember I told you that, Sabrina? Yeah. I, I remember yes. once I told you, thank you, Sabrina, because I know you're participating, but at the end, because you participate sometimes, um, you are like a mother, like a role model, because the other ones want to participate as well. If you participate, the other ones will participate as well. So at the end, you're motivating uh, them, right? So they can yes, participate. Maybe, maybe I, 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 I think that nobody look at me, but yeah, so nobody look at me. And that is strange, that makes me feel strange, but happy because I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I participate because I think that when I ask something, I learn more. Exactly. Yeah, I, I never, nunca guardo las dudas. I never. That's what I like. Yeah. That's what I love about you <laughs> that you always ask. And I really like it because uh, um, this is in order for you to learn, right? You ask because you want to learn and at the end you learn and you make the others learn as well <laughs> with your questions, which is awesome. In, in, so. in also that I am curious. I'm curious with the history, with the idiom and why, what is the content and what is the day. Mm -hmm. And for that, when I'm reading something, for example, my favorite books, I say, who write them? Why, why write them? Right? Why? Uh -huh. And the constant and the years and, the, and my mom said All that of it. <laughs> like Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Uh -huh. Sherlock Holmes my favorite book is and my your favorite, favorite? Movie. yes because he is like a details 
and, yes, and everything. looking for the details. He's <laughs> and investigating. When and when and when are in when I am in class, mm -hmm. I I I am listening to you, but I am thinking why, when, <laughs> how. You're always <laughs> uh huh. That that's good. Why? How? Okay, give me more more uh, examples, teacher, to understand it, right? No, that's that's basically it. And you know what? Today I was in a training. I want to tell you that. Sorry, I was in a training today um, because I am learning something new in the company where where I am uh, working, right? So I was in a training, and I remember I was like that because that's the way I learn, asking questions and asking questions. <laughs> and to ask why, to ask, okay, give me more examples and how. And I remember um, I did that. I started to ask many questions that maybe the trainer was not prepared to answer at the moment because she was going to explain that later on. <laughs> And I was like asking questions in advance, right? That maybe that trainer will answer later on. But I'm like that. I'm so anxious at the moment that I am learning something. <laughs> so um, I, I am like that. I am just like you. I understand. Similar. I, yes, am, I am that, that way in my homework. In, in my work, I am that way in <laughs> my my poor boss is is a super super kindness <laughs> and always he is always answer me that question o sea, every question i have he's always listening because well uh, he trying to me uh -huh. and, and you know what i always ask because i hate like i hate making mistakes Sabrina. <laughs> i mean i know it's part of the process but I don't, I don't like other people call, um, I mean, try to say something that I did wrong. Or like whenever another people like, I don't know if it is, yes, I believe it is like whenever um, they are trying to attract, um, I mean, not to call the attention, but they are trying to complain about your work, right? Like complain about your work, like to say that you you did this wrong, you did the other wrong. I mean, I hate that because I, I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect and I know mistakes are good, but I, I prefer asking before and I prefer to try my best. And if I try my best and I didn't mistake, it was because I didn't ask or because I, I didn't know it was because, I mean, mistakes happens because you are a human being, right? And not because you, you didn't pay attention to something. Yes, <laughs> so I, I am like that. Mm -hmm. Well. I so think... I know your feeling. I know your feeling and I know your boss feeling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Poor of them, crazy. right? Poor yeah. of them. <laughs> We are always talking, talking. Well, yes. I'm assistant and he is a doctor. Uh -huh. But we are we are always talking about and you know what? And he's he speak English. And really? Always, yeah, yeah, yes. How do you say that? And and he say, uh, it is that way, or you say that way, or something, or better use that word. It's more polite. And for my passion, okay, I will. Try. Entonces, mm. so we are talking about That's not awesome. in English, not in English sometimes because for the time, but but he answers questions what I have. Oh, mm -hmm. wow! That's awesome. That's awesome because you can practice with him. That's yes, yes. <laughs> not something that all people have, right? It's difficult to have this kind of experience whenever you're learning English. So that's that's great. And I hope that you can continue to take advantage of this, Serena. So take advantage as much as you can, okay? And don't stop. At the end, it's your own learning. If anyone else wants to say something, okay, let's, let's, let's them uh, 
talk about this. I mean, it's fine, but at the end is you're learning, right? So yes. let them talk about that. It's fine, okay, they talk about this. They say that I talk too much, it's fine, but I'm learning. Yes. <laughs> so let's <laughs> think about that, right? <laughs> I think that the most, the person most intelligent in the story, they make questions, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Albert Einstein and all of them. They, they have to make, make questions. questions. Exactly. And maybe other people might think that they are silly because they are asking questions or because because they don't know, but it's on the contrary. By asking questions is the I mean you become more knowledgeable about something because you're asking questions. And if you are quiet you don't learn you stay in the comfort zone right yes but teacher it was a pleasure it was a pleasure as well and thanks for everything thanks for everything for your passion for oh everything. thank you thank you sabrina <laughs> it is a pleasure to talk to you again and as you know any question let me know and i hope you have an amazing night okay okay Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank Good you. Bye-bye. Good night. Take care.